So when I approached this unit, I found that the fan wasn't running. I could just feel it. I could hear it as well. Um, so this 6 amp breaker was tripped. I reset it. I reset the main power to the machine. And when the main board, right here, when the main board went through its time up sequence, the breaker tripped directly after the sequence was over. So if we go down to the diagram, we can find that, that breaker on there. There's the breaker there. So this is a 24 volt control transformer. There's our primary up there and our secondary down here. So we follow that wire across. This circuit is being protected by this 6 amp breaker. If we continue to follow that wire, it goes to a terminal block, TV4-2, and then it's fed into the main control board, where it then feeds the outputs, the cooling one, cooling two, fan, etc. It feeds the outputs. So we follow C1, for example. That will energize M1, which is the compressor one contactor coil. C2, power moves through a normally closed contact and up to M2, which is the compressor contactor for stage 2 cooling. So we have a problem somewhere in that circuit causing that, that breaker to trip. So I'm going to go through it and find out what's causing it and I'll let you guys know. So we've now gone through the startup delay. And our breaker hasn't tripped. It hasn't tripped because what I did was I pulled the output connection off. Now that output connection has all those outputs I showed you on the diagram. The fan, compressors. So by me pulling that and our breaker not tripping That tells me that the problem is not within the circuit board. Our short is not in the board. It's in the wiring or it's in a load. When I say load, I mean compressor contactor, or in a relay. So we're going to have to do what we call the process of elimination here and we're going to have to go through each one individually pull the wire off the coil and track down the short okay so after some troubleshooting and some wire tracing the problem was very very apparent you can see that there This wire here is supposed to be on that stake on the coil and you can see that spot that got burnt because when the voltage is coming down the wire you can see that spot there the stake on connector was touching ground so this obviously slipped off somehow. You can actually see that the it focuses. You can see that it's not true anymore, the fitting itself. So we're gonna have to put that back into place with a new fitting. And uh, that should be it.